Dear all, I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of Basic Electrical Engineering. In this session, I am going to explain very important concepts in electrical engineering that is maximum power transfer theorem. Let's get understand what do you mean by maximum power transfer theorem. So, I am typically explaining maximum power transfer theorem which are applicable for DC circuit. There are many more applications of the maximum power transfer theorem in electrical engineering. Not only electrical engineering, it can be applied for mechanical system as well. Now, let us move on. The definition or the statement of maximum power transfer theorem. This is very important. The maximum power transfer theorem states that the DC voltage source will deliver maximum power to the load resistor only when the load resistance is equal to the source resistance. Some amount of resistance which is going to offer by the particular source that is referred as source resistance. The According to this theorem, the DC voltage source deliver the maximum amount of power if the load resistor will be equal to the source resistor. That is the basic information about maximum power transfer theorem. How we can prove this? You have to understand the proof. Now let's get to understand the proof of maximum power transfer theorem. For that purpose, you need to consider a simple DC network. I will be showing you a simple DC network in the diagram. Everybody please draw this particular diagram in your notebook. That is very essential. Here we have the EMF. You can call E0 or you can simply call voltage source. Correct? The voltage source offer a certain resistor that is called the internal resistor or you can call it as a source resistance which is denoted by the letter R0 or R0. Whenever you provide a supply, if you connect a load, obviously there is a current flow. The load current is represented by the letter IL which is expressed in terms of amps. And uh, you can see RL. RL is nothing but load resistor the value of load resistor will be expressed in terms of O. So, please do consider this particular circuit diagram. At the end it is required. So, I request everyone to follow up whatever I am going to give the instruction. So, the things will be very much easier. So, I try to make the step or make the proof in an easy manner. So, kindly follow up. Thank you. Now, you can apply Ohm's law. Are you recalling Ohm's law? I already explained Ohm's law. So, please uh, refer the previous lecture video. According to Ohm's law, you know that uh, current is equal to voltage by resistance. Here, IL I have to compute. What is the voltage here? Voltage will be E0. Am I right? And what about the resistance? Overall resistance? It is connected in series, no? R0 is the source resistance. RL is the load resistance. You can able to add, right? So, R0 plus RL. I am going to write like this. Current is equal to E0 divided by R0 plus RL. Hope you are agreeing with me. Now, we need to compute what is the power transferred from the source to load. How we can able to calculate? So, this equation also derived from Ohm's law only. P is equal to Vi. From Vi, I will be writing P is equal to I square R. Here, what is the value of current? Current is IL. What is the value of the resistance? Obviously, that is RL. So, what you can do is, instead of IL, Please to substitute this value. So, I will be modifying the equation like this. Instead of IL, I have written as E0 upon R0 plus R. That whole square multiplied with the R. Okay. So, A by B the whole square is equal to A square by B square. Same principle has been applied over there. Therefore, E0 square divided by R0 plus R the whole square multiplied by R. I request you to call this equation as first equation. Okay. Till this you please complete. Now, let us go ahead with another steps. We call it as equation number 1. Let me proceed. Next, you might have studied about principle of maxima or minima. So, if you haven't studied, please refer any of the mathematical textbook. Principle of maxima or minima. Okay. Maxima minima theory. Maxima minima theory. Very essential. And uh, physics lot of there are lot of applications you must have studied about uh, how to calculate the maximum speed like that you must have studied so please do refer according to maximum maximum minima theory so power transferred is maximum when dp by drl will be equal to zero this is actually uh, taken from this principle maximum minima theory what is the value of p here have you studied differentiation i hope you have studied differentiation 
So what is the value of P here? P is equal to E naught square RL divided by R naught plus RL the whole square. We have already derived. Please recall equation number one. Hope you are following me. So uh, how to solve this? You must have studied about uh, the division rule in calculus. According to division rule, d by dx of a by b. How to do that? b into da by dx. Or you can write b into a dash minus a into db by dx. Or you can write b dash divided by denominator of the whole square. The same principle let me apply. So then r naught plus r of the whole square into uh, d by drl of e naught square into rl. Obviously e naught square because drl by drl will be equal to 1 only. Next uh, e naught square into rl into uh, r naught plus d by drl of r naught plus rl the whole square. So what is d by d by dx of x square 2x? Same principle I am going to apply here. 2 into r naught plus rl. Okay. Divided by r naught plus rl uh, whole square whole square. So what is a square the whole square a to the power 4. Likewise I am getting r naught plus rl whole to the power 4. I hope you are following with me. Kindly note down this. And please do verify once again. Then what you can do is, please do equate uh, dp by drl equal to 0. Where is dp by drl? Just we have derived. So this particular term, that should be equated to 0. Okay, if I equate to 0, the thing is, the numerator part becomes 0. I am going to write like this, the numerator becomes 0. Correct? Can you simplify further? Please do simplify. Try your own manner. So any, ma any simplification method is fine. Whichever you feel comfortable, please go ahead. So here, whenever I'm, I can equate it, like uh, R0 plus, uh, let me keep R0 plus uh, RL the whole square, E0 square at LHS and uh, another part is E0 square RL into 2 into R0 plus RL to the RHS side. Therefore, E0 square and E0 square are available at LHS and RHS. Therefore, E0 square is getting cancelled. Please do simplify further. Here you can able to see R0 plus RL and here R0 plus RL the whole square. So it will cancel at once. So, R0 plus RL is equal to 2 RL. Can you simplify further? Yes, definitely. So, if I simplify, I will be getting RL is equal to R0. What does it mean? Can you, can you think one? Yeah. Here, what is RL? You have called RL as a load resistance. Then R0 as a source resistance. What is the condition? Can you make the statement? Yeah, why not? Hence, the maximum power is transferred from source to the load when the load resistance RL is equal to source resistance R0. So please do put up equation number 2. Suppose in examination if they ask what is the condition for maximum power transfer theorem? Yes, the maximum power transfer will be happening when the source and load resistance are equal. So here load resistance is RL and the source resistance is R0. Likewise you can able to explain. During viva also you may get some kind of questions. Yeah. Now what is the exact value of power which is transferred from source to load that you can able to calculate? By the way, please recall the diagram once again. So this diagram you have to consider. Hope you are recalling the diagram. Yeah, please note down this diagram. From the diagram, what we can write? IL can be written like this. IL. So IL is equal to E0 divided by R0 plus RL. Next, what you can do? You already uh, proven that uh, R0 is equal to RL for the condition of maximum power. So instead of uh, R0, you can put uh, RL. So RL plus RL, you can able to write it as 2 RL. So denominator becomes 2 RL. I think you are following with me. Therefore, the maximum power transfer from the source to load is given by uh, PM is equal to IL square into RL. It is very clear. Instead of IL, what you can do? Uh, you can able to substitute uh, E0 divided by 2 RL. So the equation will be modified in this fashion. So E0 by 2 RL the whole square into RL. So, further simplifying, after simplifying, in fact I am getting E0 square divided by 4 RL. So therefore, what is the conclusion you can make? The maximum power is transferred from source to load is given by PM is equal to E0 square divided by 4 RL. So let me know what is RL. RL is the load resistance. Let me know what is E0. E0 is the PM of 4 voltage source. PM, what is the value of PM? Maximum power transferred from source to load. So this is actually the value of maximum power which is transferred from source to load. So ultimately we have derived this expression. So what you studied in this session? In this session we studied the statement of maximum power transfer theorem. What is the condition of maximum power transfer theorem? What is the value of maximum power which is transferred from 
source to learn. If you are having any queries,